Hi guys, this is Peter Enriquez with Supro showing you the Amulet in its new 1x12 configuration. Following the success of the original 1x10, the Amulet is now being offered with a 12-inch speaker. Everything else has been kept exactly the same. The Amulet features a single 12AX7 preamp tube for gain adjustment, which then hits a two-band EQ, followed by analog tremolo and spring reverb. But the real key to the Amulet is its three-way power attenuator, which allows you to switch between 15 watts, 5 watts, or even 1 watt of all tube Class A tone. The power section is complemented by a single 6L6 tube combined with a UK-made Celestian Creamback speaker, which brings out the rich mid-range that Supros are known for. Amulet 12 is built with the smallest cabinet configuration possible, only slightly larger than its 1x10 counterpart, making it ideal for transportation and taking up minimal space on stage or in studio. Tonally, the 12-inch speaker expands the Amulet's character with pronounced low-end response and punchy, sparkling highs. First, I'm going to play through each setting on the attenuator so you can hear how it works. Then, I'll move through a few different tone maps that showcase the Amulet's versatility. For this first tone, I'm going to be on a 15 watt clean setting with the D'Angelico XL DC Semi Hollow with the neck pickup selected. As mentioned, the 12 inch speaker opens up the tone just a bit more in the lower register, making it perfect for jazz, neo soul, or any type of cleaner playing. I'll start off on a dry tone and then halfway through bring in the analog spring reverb by engaging the SFS2 foot switch. <laughs> Next, I'll move to a 5 watt tone on a Telecaster. I'll dial up the gain just a bit for touch sensitive saturation alongside some reverb and the onboard tremolo. As opposed to most other Supros, the analog tremolo in the amulet is actually found in the preamp and sits just before the reverb, which allows you to add an ethereal shimmer after the modulation. To show the range of the tremolo, I'll start with a slower speed and then I'll turn it up halfway through. For this final setting, we'll move down to 1 watt for an extra crunchy Class A sound. This is a great way to preserve the saturation you hear at higher volumes, but without sacrificing the tone's authenticity. We'll also keep a touch of tremolo and reverb on the signal, and move to a D'Angelico Deluxe Brighton on a bridge humbucker. <laughs> 